evening welcome welcome back to the video good evening hello to the beauty on family god bless you all happy sunday today is june 5th 2022 it is 9 45 p.m eastern standard time good evening hello i hope you all had a blessed day hope you all had a blessed and wonderful weekend and it's back to work monday and it's back to school for the kids i understand i get it I hope we all are relaxing and make sure you take notes with pen and paper. Make sure you grab yourself a snack and something to drink watching this video. So tonight's video is going to be about what I have in here. And drum roll please. This is my first time ever doing this on my channel. It is AOA Shop Miss A. All the stuff that's in here so we're going to get into that all up in here and everything is mostly between a dollar and up from shop miss a so definitely check out that website at www.shopmissa.com it's very affordable it's very reasonable for your buck for your pocket if you're trying to save on money so yes i really do love shop miss a i have another container of shop miss a items here so look out for that next video a part two of shop miss a but we're going to get started in what's in here so you all can see how the products work and how they look and it's mostly aoa studio what's in here and some are from like shop miss a for just a dollar i believe um i believe in here so definitely make sure you give this video a like comment and subscribe and definitely hit that turn hit that notification bell and turn on that notification bell make sure you are subscribed comment this video any video i mean anything you want to say on here positively it's good vibes that's what we're doing this year so i hope you all enjoying your wonderful week so far enjoying the summer doing something fun family filled fun and just make sure you enjoy life because life is too short so definitely make sure you are enjoying life every moment every second of it every hour and day so yes yeah, support one another be there for one another, your family, your loved ones, your significant other, your friends, your best friends, your college um, roommates that you had in college and in high school, you know, and you're all grown adults now with family of your own, husbands, you know, and ladies, I definitely get it by doing, um, by doing every, not everything, but just trying to get your lives together, you know, I understand, I understand. And anything is possible if you want to achieve it and dream it, you can do it, okay? So keep that in mind, too. If you have any dreams and goals that you want to accomplish and do, you can do it. If I can do YouTube channel and do YouTube, definitely make sure you keep yourself focused and stay positive. If you want to get a degree and you're doing it for your kids, for your families, for your significant other, you know, um, just just make sure you are making those dreams and goals come true because that's definitely important that is the name of the game this year just trying to stay focused being positive support one another pray for one another people that you do not know and of course pray for yourself and your loved ones and your children so yes yeah, as, as always i say i'm always truly praying for you all night and daily trust me because you are a part of the you are the beauty room family not part of you are are the beauty room family and i appreciate you all so much because without you all this channel would not be possible so god bless you all and thank you all so much for this ride or die with me hanging in there with me and understanding my life my life and just thank you all so much because it just means the world to me that you all are still here and hanging with me and seeing what I'm doing new or what I'm trying to accomplish and do on my YouTube channel because success is very important to me. You know, ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be successful in life, you know. And you know, as your little kid, you know, you want to grow up and say, I want to do this, I want to do that, you know, when you're playing with Barbies or whatever. I used to play with Barbies and, uh, and G.I. Joe toys, you know, I was a girl, but I was a girly girl, but I played with Barbies and and G.I. Joe toys, you know, you know, for little boys because I was the only child at the time when my parents was married and had me. So yes. So 
we're gonna get right into the video to this okay so this is from shop miss a this is the package here this is the handheld mirror and i want to say it's between like it's a dollar yes and it's a dollar 55 so definitely make sure you add this cute light pink handheld mirror and it has the the animal on it with aoa studios and it's cruelty free and anything that change that you do it goes to a charity animal um an, animal charity excuse me so yes and it, and your dollar goes to shop miss a so your change goes to any charity like with animal or anything like that for children's education you know animal so definitely that is a good thing to do when you uh go on to shop miss a website and definitely if you like this cute light pink mirror i wish you had like a little hole where you can put it you know on your hook or like you know on a thumb not i guess i want to say a thumbtack you know those thumbtacks that you put on your bulletin board you know or notes and things like that i wish it had a little hole we can put it on there but this it's okay because i have a container right here where i usually just put my my handheld mirrors in this box that i have here so it's going to be a video on my eyeshadow palace i'm just trying to just get together a good schedule and the right schedule and stay to it and stick to it because i work so much i'm telling you i work like six days a week sometimes seven so yes so i want to tell you about that and the aoa um handheld mirror so we're going to get right started with this this is the brightening um this is from global beauty care um this is the eye cream with vitamin c and improves the appearance of dark spots promotes healthy and brighter skin a 15 minute eye therapy so you have this on for about 15 minutes right here and after that you know you can put apply your makeup you know on so we're going to apply this right now and so this is a dollar from shop miss a the container is a bright it's a brightening eye cream with vitamin c and you know vitamin c is very important like in the morning or you know and put as if also in the evening too it don't have to just be in the morning it's definitely important as well in the evening also before you you know before you go to bed you know when you do your skincare routine you know at night you know when you get home and you had a you had a great day at the office i mean yes at work office you know uh, or whatever if you had the day off and you just had a great day you know and also um on sunday so like in michigan here it's a good day to go to the movies on sunday mornings you know if you have nothing to do and you had the day off and you wanted to have a like a day date with your significant other i think going to the movies is a is a is a good thing to do that's quality time you know spending with your your hubby you know and yes guess you all guess what hamilton and i have 45 more days to be to say i do to one another <laughs> you know your girl is so excited um, i've been excited since she um proposed to me and we had we didn't have an engagement party but we're still um trying to uh this month also we just have so much going on this month we're going to try to um hire you know uh a to a how you say it? a photographer yeah a, a photographer excuse me a photographer you know to take our engagement pictures you know at a park you know just take a few pictures like you know not too long you know a good hour you know um so that way you know it'll be some nice pictures that we can do so that way we can have them like at our wedding party you know um a few weeks after we're married and yes that's what we're going to do that's our plan hopefully so pray to god that it works out um i hope you all had a good day today a blessful day i work today so um i had off i got off earlier today so i switched with a co-worker and um yes it, it felt good to have like a day off and get up early so i got up exactly at 5 30 and it was like surprise i had to be in you know like at nine and hamilton had to be in at seven so you know 
I just chill, you know, in our break room that we have and, you know, in our store and just watch movies, you know. Remember that movie, um, it's called ATL. I don't know if you probably have it, you know, on DVD. You know, with, um, what is his name? T.I., you know, from, uh, from T.I. and his family, you know, with the, I think it was MTV or something like that or something like that. He had did a, he had his TV show. Yes, I do remember that, that TV show because I used to watch it. So, this is a latex free, um, Wonder Blender. This is for just one dollar. And this, a uh, um, this is... Uh, from shop miss a and you can uh, what it says completely sus submerge spun into water and squeeze excess that's the one two dab the wonder dab the wonder blender into your makeup three apply to skin using a tapping motion start at the center and four clean and air dry before your next usage so this is just a dollar this is like the tannish um, beauty blender I'm gonna not wet it this time I'm gonna um like use it dry I might you know I'll see but I think I might you know try it uh just I'm, I might do it just wet you know with my uh setting spray I not have a setting spray I normally do but I'm gonna get up and get a setting spray one second one second okay so i got a shading spray oh you know what duh i forgot oh that's the brush cleaner nope okay that was brush cleaner so i do have a shading spray i believe i have one from shop miss a or something like that or i think um but we're going to just use this nyx professional um setting spray and it's just for eight hour and it's a bear with me it's a prime and set refresh setting spray this was over ten dollars you can find this at your local target i want to say even walmart so definitely check out those two stores for walmart or target for this brand by nyx professional uh, makeup setting spray it's a light very light light pink um setting the bottle and then the spray is clear so and I'm just going to wet it with my setting spray. And you all seen how it looked when it was um, before it got wet. And now this is the size of it um, after usage with some setting spray. Or you can use water too. You can um, submerge your um, beauty blender. I cannot talk. Wow. Beauty blender. Excuse me. You can wet your beauty blender with water you know and make sure you squeeze any extra excess of water out so this is definitely ready to be used and ready let me just set that aside for right now and yes yeah, so this is settings with uh brush cleaner okay so and i just put some eye creamer on my face I'm trying to use Okay, it's eye cream. Okay. Wow. Yikes. Okay, found some eye primer. Wow, okay. This is from Hard Candy. I've been seeing a lot of this on YouTube. And it's like it's a pretty good brand. And this is um, by the number 1818. You can definitely find this at your local Walmart for under $10. Or about $10. Something like that now since everything is going up. But yeah, but this is the Hard, this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It lasts up to about 12 hours you know, with your makeup. So we're going, and it pumps, moisturizes, and perfects. So we're going to put this on to my face. So this will be set and ready. And this is how it looks like a clear. So it's going to apply. Because I do have large pores. So. 
and then you also want to wait a minute or so before you apply like your before you apply your your makeup and your concealer and I put it on my other cheek and my chin and my upper lip and my nose the bridge of my nose I was watching a video so I'm turning my phone off sorry if, um, before I woke up and realized it was, I then I thought it was like 11 o'clock. I was like, oh no, I have to do a video. So, all right. So as you after you apply this um, primer, hydrating primer, um, make sure you just wait a minute or so to make sure it, it'll get tacky and not tack, not sticky but tacky. So that way, you know, your makeup foundation could be flawless looks very good and natural however you wear your makeup or how you apply your foundation yes definitely this is a very good thing i only use this once so i bought this at your at my local walmart where i shop at so yes and i, I also found a different walmart too um just a few days ago with hamilton and i we went we had a, we had a day date at Walmart, yes, it was so sweet and ador adorable to me. Just spending time with Hamilton is definitely important to me. You know, every time that we can, we have the same days off, or if he has the day off, I have to work two or three days, and he has the next day off, and I have the next day off together. Um, I love spending any moment in time with him that I can, so I definitely love that. So you just want to just make sure you just um, let that set for a minute. <laughs> And now next, we are going to let that sit. I thought I had... Hmm. I do not have any... I have some lip scrub, you know, for my lips. So we're just going to just let that go for just a minute. But I usually do have it, so... Um, Oh, yes, I do. Okay, this is the Jelly Jam lip mask. You can use this at night or, in, or also in a in the daytime too, in the morning. Um, you can definitely use this. This is just a lip mask just to make your lips nice and smooth. And this is in strawberry. I highly recommend that you get this from Shop Miss A. And you just kind of apply this just to my lips, just to get my lips nice and moistened before i apply like lip liner lipstick or lip gloss anything to my lips because this is uh, you can also wear this overnight too so this was just a dollar between a dollar and a dollar 88 or 55 so anything from shop miss a with aoa studios it's like a dollar 55 and up so i believe this is just like a dollar 55 this is the jelly jam lip mask in strawberry so, yep, that, and we're going to put this, put this up, all right, so definitely hope you're liking this video so far of what I'm doing so far, and I did not, um, I forgot to apply this, but this is, uh, the Olay Face Primer Mattifying, this is also good for the winter time, you know, if you want to apply this, and this is the AOA Olay face primer as well as smoothing and this is a dollar fifty five charity and it goes for charity and it's an uh, it's an addition like limited edition or uh, addition not sorry not limited excuse me it's addition so it's charity edition and it and it has the paw paw with the animal there and like I said your change will go to the charity of um, animal cruelty or children education so definitely look for the symbols onto the shop miss a website so anything aoa uh, or shop miss a the change to go to charity of your um of whatever either um animal charity or children's education so i didn't apply this on but i applied the um, brightening vitamin c that i applied to my eyes and that was just a dollar and also applied that other one that was like a dollar 55 
rum shop miss a but definitely check this out so this is a very good thing to have you know and it also is a very good thing so try it out so a dollar fifty five so now we're going to move on with this a with the power foundation it's full coverage and this is in 0380 cappuccino so yes we're going to apply this and i usually have anything for my eyebrows and it looks like i don't have anything for my eyebrows but i'm going to use my i'm going to use my um wet and wild Sema Brown, I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. So this is my Wet n Wild Sema Brown and Sema Brown C603A for just 99 cents at your local Walmart, um, Five Below store. Um, I don't know about Target, but I know definitely for sure. Check out Walmart for it's under like a dollar for these pencils. If you if you see them in your store, Walmart or Five Below, grab a lot of them because you are going to love them and you're never going to go back to what you normally use now so we're just going to apply my eyebrows and do my eyebrows on camera i'm going to take my handheld mirror and just use this so when you um like do your eyebrows you want to just follow the strokes of your own eyebrows i normally do a light first and then as and underneath here i do light as well and then i fill in the pencil with you know to light my eyebrows so and then you also want to just make sure that your eyebrows you know are nice and straight and clean you can also use um, alcohol and use the alcohol um, swab you know to make sure you get any excess dirt or oil off your eyebrows and then wipe it again with a um with like with a uh, like with a wash either washcloth or you can use a cloth, you know, that you, you know, when you apply to remove your makeup, you know, definitely you can use a wipe to also get that extra if you, if you want to, you know, make sure your eyebrows are super duper clean, so. See, and then I also just do like a line. Also make sure that when I do my eyebrows, I make sure that this lines up to my eyelid from here so i apply just a little bit more just to get that thin line how i want okay and that's good for me so just about like that is good and it goes straight just how like that so and then i'm gonna apply up some more And you want to just connect so okay so that's just how i get it started i'm gonna do the other one this one i'm gonna do my left now it'll maybe look to your right when it's on my left And then this is just what I'm doing, so that way you can see.
Okay, so that's just how I get my eyebrows started. So, and it's basically filled in. So, with, um, cause I, don't have, I barely have any hair. So, because, you know, I always, um, when I, when my eyebrows be kind of thick to me, I just, um, tweeze them, pluck them, you know. So, but if you don't, if you want your eye, your eyebrows to grow, definitely use, what is it called? It's called castor oil and something else to make your eyebrows grow, you know, to your likeness. You can definitely apply that for like 30 days or more and you will see the difference within that time frame and your eyebrows will be nice and thick, however you want. So definitely keep that in mind. And that's, that is all. castor oil, I believe is at any bee supply store that you go to for your hair needs, whatever um, needs at the bee supply store. I want to say maybe Walmart or Target. I'm really not for sure. So, so yeah, but definitely check out that um, beauty, supply, beauty supply store for your castor oil to make your eyebrows grow. So now since we did that already, I'm going to use a concealer and this is the Fawn. This is um, Wonder Cover Concealer and it's in HD and this is like a dollar for the concealers. I love that. So we're just going to apply this to my under. So. So I'm just doing this like right like this. And I've not used this concealer in a long, long, long time. So, I have the pencils here, uh, makeup pencils that are, are from Shop Miss A, and they are a dollar each. And some, it comes with two. Those are two dollars. So, I definitely like that because you can build up your. Um, your makeup brush if you're a big huge fan of makeup brushes like me i have too many in every direction you can think of in this room so i'm trying to find a really good rounded brush from shop and say here it is Jeez. okay and this is the e122 brush you can use this brush for multi things i normally just use this brush for my eyebrows you can use it to when you want to apply like some shimmer or like glitter or you can use glitter glue yeah glitter adhesive glue you know when you want to um get your your eyeshadow popping or pop you know look very very pretty you know so that's what i definitely definitely use this for but i'm going to use this as a concealer brush I'm going to just do this so you can really see what I'm doing. So definitely when you do your eyebrows, just take your time with your eyebrows. just um, one usage of it and then what you want to do is bring it down because you don't want to um, have it just in a certain area when you apply your eyebrows you want to just make sure it is in a good frame 
mistakes you have. And if you make any mistakes, you can definitely go read back into with your pencil and just touch it up just a tiny bit just to get that perfect, precise, you know, eyebrow look however you want. But you do the best that you can. So. Okay. So that looks very, very good. And you just blend it out with your um, with your beauty blender. Okay, so I'm gonna set that side and then I'm gonna do the other side. So I use a lighter concealer underneath and then I use a concealer that's my complexion. Excuse me. I use a concealer that is my complexion on top. So, and I'm going to use this concealer again when I um, apply my foundation. So, I'm taking this E122 brush. Again, this is the E122 brush. And I'm just trying to make sure that this is a good, precise line of how I did it first and beginning with the brush. Okay, and then you just use your beauty blender again and just make sure that you get your edges really good. Okay, so if you look in the mirror, make sure everything is so you're liking. There's one mistake that I see that's on my left, so I'm just going to fix that real quick. Okay. All right, fixed it. It looks good. Okay, so all right, so now we're going to apply uh, another concealer onto my top, and this is um, to medium to full coverage. That's buildable, and this is a dollar fifty-five, and it is um, in nutmeg and it's good for all skin types. And they have other concealers that are like whatever shade is best for you so and this is how this one looks this is nutmeg that's nutmeg there so that is going to go onto my upper eyebrow i'm gonna use this exact same pencil i mean pencil brush excuse me brush so I have some on my on my hand So, I got it on there, and I'm going to just do one side at a time. Just make sure it's to my liking. And I just wanted to show you off for just one second how, you know, to blend it up. 
upwards, you know, to your skin, or your forehead. I hope I'm getting it because so you can really, there you go. Okay. Because, you know, normally in my videos, before I come on to video, you know, my eyebrows are done. You know, foundation's not done and my eyeshadow is not done. But I want to do a full tutorial on the AOA Studio stuff. So you can definitely get any of these items that I showed you so far. And, yeah. Okay. That is looking good because I'm going to apply my foundation to it anyway. So. And this is how I do my top, you know, my eyebrows. Because I, I can't do it like this for some reason. I don't know why. I can do it like this. I know that's weird. And you want to just take your eyebrow pencil and just connect it to, you know, to your eye, you know, to your eyebrow line at the end of the line. You want to just connect it and make sure it's, you know, how you want it to be. And use the flat part and also use the flat part too when you apply like your contour or your uh, your setting powder you know so yeah you want to definitely make sure okay all right so yes yeah, so that is very blendable okay so just check yourself and make sure it looks good to your liking of your eyebrow. I'm going to apply my I'm going to apply my um pencil one more time cuz I see like this looks thicker and it's look kind of thinner. okay looks better okay so definitely when you before you apply your concealer to your topper of your eyebrows make sure that you look in the mirror like once or twice you know just to make sure um that your eyebrows look good if you use a seam a sema brown pencil through um wet and wild so yeah so that is done and applied and my cat is in here hi hey you Hi, baby. <laughs> She's a girly girl like her mama. <laughs> and then this is um, and then this is just the spoolie pencil, and this is an E one one nine. So you definitely want to make sure that you just apply this and make sure you know your eyebrows is good how you want them. And I just leave my eyebrows just like this. I don't do anything special to them, anything like that. I just you know just do the best that i can you know i know i need work on whew, on everything <laughs> with makeup you know but you know as long as you try and you feel like you failed no nope, get up yourself and do it all over again and practice makes perfect it truly does so now we are going to apply some more setting spray So now I can um, apply this foundation. Oh boy, there you go. Okay, this takes a time or two to get it out. And this one is in 0380 Cappuccino, just like the foundation. This is in this is a nutmeg though. So this you need probably about that much just the beginning, just a start, you know. And this is um, with that foundation. It is like uh, medium to build to visible coverage as well with the foundation. So definitely keep that in mind. And you can use a handheld mirror, or you can use um, a mirror that's stands you know and you just hit the button like a, a LED light uh, mirror that comes on with the light you can definitely definitely use that if you you know if you want so definitely keep that in mind 
you do not have to use a handheld mirror but i do because i need it <laughs> so i can be you know have my hand with you know other you know using my hands you know for another applying some more makeup or you know trying to get my uh, hands this hand free so i can use eyebrow pencil if i need to or anything like that so you just want to make sure you have just enough foundation on to your skin. And you can also use a brush too. So when you use a beauty blender, you can just tap, 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 tap. You know, like this, you know. So that way when you apply your foundation, look up. You know, when you do your under eye, look up. So that way you won't get any creasing um, underneath your eyes. You know, that's one of another tip that, um, that I know, you know, me applying makeup since I was a teenager, so. And then definitely you just want to make sure that your eyelids are blendable with your foundation. So, yeah. So definitely hope you're liking this video so far and yeah and this is a very this is a very good foundation so far i really like it it's not bad it gives you like a, like a natural type of finish look so if you're going to a a restaurant or something you know you'll get a lot of compliment a color a lot of compliment a comp hmm, can i talk you'll get compliments there you go there you go, Dawn. <laughs> you get a lot of compliments onto your makeup. Makeup. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that is basically done with the foundation. I like it. It's not bad. So now we're going to apply the concealer. And I'm just going to just mix this a little bit underneath here. And then I'm going to uh, apply this one right here in Fawn. This is like the dollar one. I'm just going to go like that. Then I'm going to mix these two in together. And then as you apply your concealer, uh, which is lighter, you know, for your tone, you just want to make sure that you look up. So that part is done. Off my hand and wipe off my excess of my foundation and putting this up. And I'm going to tell you what I liked at the end of the video. I'm going to try to remember if I can. And I'm going to leave the Shop Miss A website in the description box below. So if you like any, any products that I use so far, definitely go on to www.shopmiss8.com right now or at the end of the video. Or even Monday, and you want to order some things from Shop Miss A, it'll come within seven to fourteen or a bit more business days for any product that you love that you order from. Put it in your cart. So yes, we're gonna continue on with the video. And I'm trying to figure out which um, palette do I want to use. Eyeshadow palette. 
Do this one or this one? Any mini money mo get your bar bar's toe. If you hollow, let them go. Any mini money mo. <laughs> Remember that back in the day? <laughs> I used to do that back in the day when I was coming up. And my goodness, my parents would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I wasn't a bad kid. I was a, believe it or not, I was shy. I was a shy little cutie pie. So I'm trying to get a brush to apply this is for eyes okay actually now we're going to use this brush this is the e113 brush this is a flat rounded brush so and we're going to go in with this right here this one is like a burgundy type of color oh and this is the amuse six color eye eyeshadow color so this is very pretty cute so, I'm going to go in with that color. And the pigmentation is looking really great. I do like that. And as you apply your shadow, any shadow, any eyeshadow palette that you want to use, it don't have to be shot this A. Um, if you try Shop Miss A so many times with their eyeshadow palettes, try any other eyeshadow palette that you want to uh, want to apply with your eyelids. And I'm just using just a six eyeshadow color eyeshadow palette. And I'm only just going to use a couple, but not a whole lot of them. So I'm going to go back into that burgundy, and I'm just putting it above my eye crease oh and cap <laughs> i forgot to say that so So yes, I do have hooded eyes, and for me, it's extremely hard to really, um, apply, um, any shadow for me. So I'm just using this, um, dark brown color. So, and it don't take too long with me applying any, um, like, like eyeshadow to me, I mean, for me, so, oh, and what I used was this dark brown, which is right here, I use this above my creasing, and then I use this for my eyelid, so I'm gonna, apply the same way how I did to my left to my right. And it looks like the color comes out very good, so that's a good thing. As you can see what I'm doing, I hope you can see it. I'm gonna apply it one more time so you can really get the color. Cap. Very good.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that dark brown. It's going to be above my brow. Tap. Okay, so that is basically done how I like it. It looks very, very good. Just wipe it off with my towel here. Okay, because I know I have to clean these. I always, after every usage that I use with my eyeshadow pat, um, brushes, I clean them right away. And hope you've seen that video, what I use for my eyebrow, I mean, for my makeup brushes and how I clean them and what I do. So, um... Now we're going to go in with a shimmer shade. I'm just trying to figure out which shade do I want to mix it with. I need another brush. Okay. And this is the E123 brush. E123. And I'm going to apply... I think I'm going to go for this shimmer right here. Like a very light type of shimmer. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger first to see how I like it. Okay. Hmm. Very pretty. Like. Okay. And yeah wow okay i do like i like so i do use very tiny bit and look how it looks like come on now wow that's pretty that is really good for a dollar and by amuse cosmetics from shop miss a for one dollar one dollar you can get six um eyeshadow say pass wow six eyeshadow for for one dollar from shop from cosmetics from amusecosmetics.com but from shop miss a you can use this as oh my gosh anything you know multi usage you know if you want to get a precise look yes check out shop miss a Wow, I'm I'm definitely impressed with just one usage of this eye palette from Shop Miss A. I'm just intrigued, loving it. So the three shades I used was this dark burgundy here and this lighter shimmer here for my eyelids and then this dark brown for my over my eyelids. So one dollar to check it out. And this is the six color eyeshadow palette from Shop Miss A. I hope that they have this onto the website of Shop Miss A, AmuseCosmetics.com. Definitely check out the six color eyeshadow palettes. Very pretty. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Okay, I did not use this pencil. So that's a, I mean, pencil. Makeup brush. So that's a good thing. So now I'm just taking off my lip mask. I feel that my lips are good and moist now and softened. And as you've seen it, it lasts a long time in, you know, a long time when I was applying my makeup, my eyebrows. It did a very, very good job. And my lips are definitely smooth and soft. So now we are going to apply, not the mascara yet, but I want to show you. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is um, by Malibu Glitz. This is just $1. This is in back, 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 black mascara. But look how Freaking huge this container is. This is the Spider Lash Mascara Volume Extreme Impact Mascara in black. So we're going to see how this is and how it'll go. Because you know I'm not the best at um, applying any um, lashes. But I am, like I said, I'm working on it. Doing so much other things right now in my life. It's just it's crazy. Okay, so now we're going to set 
I don't have any settings. So no, I don't. But I'm going to use this Amuse um, Co Amuse Cosmetics. It's a two-in-one. It's a blush and bronzer. I'm going to use that. Okay, for my bronzer. So. Well, if I can get it. Okay. Got to use the scissors to get it open. Got it. All right. Scissors to the rescue. Okay, so now I'm going to just take my beauty blender and I'm just going to bronze my face before I apply my setting spray. And I'm just going to just bronze like right here. Just like above my forehead. Just a little bit of it. You know, not too much. Just like right there. I like to get that extra type of naturalness. You know, I don't know. Glowiness. However, I'm trying to say the word. But I did just a tiny bit on there. But before I go any further, this is the Scope FX Contour Stick. This is in 0337 in Earth. This is... You know, do shot this A. This is how I um, contour. I don't put a whole lot on my. You will start from here and work the way up. And that's really all where I contour. And this is just for $1. So, yes. And now I can go in with my beauty blender and just mudge that on out so and then you got to work fast with these type of products too um when you contour or when you bronze when you blush you definitely have to work fast because you do not want this stuff to be so sticky on you know, not sticky but you don't want it to not come off your face when you want to take your makeup off at the end of the day or end of the night. Okay. I almost forgot all about that. <laughs> like, for two seconds. So. Okay. That is done. So, now we're going to go on with a blush. Oh, just almost knocked my hand off. Okay. I'm going to use this e I'm F19 brush. This is a setting spray, but I mean, so, God. This is a setting. No, this is a highlighter brush. Please excuse my words tonight, please. This is a highlighter brush, but I'm just going to use it as a blush brush. This is for $1. And I'm just going to just apply the brush, the blush right here. And I like to apply my blush before um, I apply like my highlighter, you know, so like to get that type of cool you know look and this is super nice it's super soft and i really like shop miss age makeup brushes for a dollar each or two dollars or ten dollars to fifty cents you know however you want to um get extra makeup brushes if you're a makeup artist and then this is the setting powder we're going to apply as well and this is the highlighter this is the goddess in AOA 0359 it's like a liquid so you got to be extremely careful I'm just putting it like right on my hand just about that much which is right there I'm just going to apply just a tiny bit which I did and this is just for like a dollar between a wrong way. This is between a dollar and a dollar fifty-five. It's a cute little tube. I like that. It's cute. Cute and little. So I'm just going to apply just a little bit. 
get my handheld mirror, just apply highlighter. And then, then I just apply the highlighter with my finger to my nose. Oh, I'm not flicking you all off. I apologize. Just a real tiny, tiny bit. And then use the rest like right here. There you go. And that's it. And so now I'm going to set my break. And now we're going to use the oh shoot, I didn't open, I thought it was. Okay, let's so set this down. And I just put that like that for right now. And this is in um, AOA 0024 warm. So then I'm just going to apply where I applied my concealer at, which is right here. I don't really apply a whole lot. So. And that's what I forgot to do, <laughs> so I'm applying it now. But you're supposed to apply your setting powder before you apply your setting spray. But that's okay. I did it backwards. I should know better. <laughs> okay, but yes, that is the this is the AOA um, setting powder, and again AOA 0024. For just a dollar, and it's per perfect setting spray. So I do like that in a cute little container like this. And you can get the whole more of the setting powders, however you want. If you're a makeup artist or just got a cosmetic school, you know. And we're gonna continue to go on, and we're going to um, I'm going to apply this lip gloss by AOA. Um, this is just a dollar. It's in a lip gloss. And the name of this one, it is Role Model. So we're going to put that on and then the mascara. And then we are basically done. So, um, yes. So let's see. Uh, okay, so this goes to the top. So this is the top. This is how it looks. This is for your upper. Huge. I mean, this is a dollar. I'll grab a. I will put in my cart about two or three of these things. And then this is maybe for your bottom. But you can use either or, I believe, for your for your top and your bottom. So if you want that uh, regular look, you can use this one. Or if you want to get you know a more precise look, you can definitely use this one. So. I'm going to go for this um for this one right here for my um for my lashes. And I didn't use any uh any uh eyelash curler. I'm just straight up using the mascara right out the package. And it's supposed to give you volume, so you may have to do it a couple times.
wow can you tell the difference between this and then my my lashes look at that wow okay Okay, so I'm using, I'm looking at my mirror, but I'm looking at you all so you can see what I'm doing. I didn't show you what I was doing on this side before, but I'm going to show you with this one on this side. Okay, wow. It really gave me like some volume with this. No wonder why this was like a five star one to shop and say. So now we're just going to apply the lip gloss and I'm going to put my hair down and we're going to do a little of review and then that is it at the end of the video. So again, this is in role model. This is supposed to be a really good lip gloss. I do not have any brown eyeliner on my lips. And I'm not going to put any other product on here so you can really see the lip gloss. And then also, if you made any mistakes on applying your lip gloss, Definitely use any flat rounded brush to just you know to get that um you know move any excess lip gloss off of you. Okay. And putting my hair down. All right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we <laughs> Okay. So this is this is it. The final look. what do y'all think i hope you all liked it and sorry it was a very long tutorial yes um definitely make sure you go on to www.shopmissa.com definitely get any items that you want to put in your cart that i showed you and what i applied to my face this is my very first time doing shop miss a review and tutorial onto my channel i hope you all liked this video and yeah before i leave and go I'm going to talk to you a few minutes just about the items that I used, what I like, and what I did not like. So, first of all, we're going to go with the 
foundation. The foundation was a a a nine, like not a, yeah, a nine to me because I really liked it. It went on very good, as you can see the foundation. Um, it looked like I have flawless skin, and I like that about. The, I love the foundation. So it was a good foundation. So, and this was my first time using this one, but there's another one that they have too. So I do have that. So next time I'll do another video with using that foundation. But this foundation is a nine. I really like that. So that's a very good thing. They also this is a one um, fluid ounce, and this is in zero three eight zero in the cappuccino. If you're in my skin tone. But if you're lighter than me, they have all type of tones of this foundation from the from the Shop Miss A um, from the Shop Miss A website. This is the Power Foundation. This is in full coverage, so this is visible to me. So I used it about a couple times. The first time I used very little, but as you can see on my on my hand there. But it's a very good. I do like this foundation. I'm going to use it again. So I give this a A+. Plus. So next, we're going to go in with the a, with the Wonder Concealer, HD Concealer. I like this concealer. This is also was a 9 for me as well. I really, really liked this concealer. It applied very well to my under eye and to my... Um, lower of my eyebrows as you can see i really do like this so this is an a plus to me so definitely pick this pick it and put it into your cart again this is in two three two two and fawn i use this for my lower and then i use the other concealer which was in a liquid concealer in the 0 0.3 ounce and this was in nutmeg and this is for all skin types and it's a pawpaw charity additions for a dollar 55 so this is also a nine to me i really liked how it went on it applied very good to my upper eyebrow as you can see i really really do like this so this was an a plus as well so so far so good i really like those and then the wonder blender this was a chef's kiss this was a very very good blender to me um it was very soft not too hard as you applied you know i applied my foundation concealer it went on very very good right there okay sorry so yes this was a very good blender i highly recommend for a dollar very 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 well and good so this is a plus as well and also with the contour stick that i applied last totally forgot all about it brain fart um this is the scope fx Con contour brush brush contour stick excuse me contour stick in 0337 in earth this was very good as you can tell i liked how it went on it's a very a very good this was also a a plus and it wasn't like too you know hard you know because some you know there's some contours that you um, that you have and you apply. Some comes with the stick and some comes with the container, and like a powder form. I like that too, but I mostly like the stick because it's more easier and you have more control, you know, how you apply your contour. So however you apply your contour, you can use a stick, you can use a powder. Very, very good. This is an A+, plus, nine hands down. I like this so far. So, five out of other ones that I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to um, do the lip gloss last. These brushes, wow, you have to get these brushes. This was the E122. This was a good product to use for my lower and my upper, you know, my eyebrows. This was very good to use. I really like this brush and i do like AO studio brushes because um I, I, to me i feel it's a better quality when you uh, uh when you act after when you apply your makeup and you get that look that you want so this is a definitely hands down a very good brush i'll get about put in my cart i'll get about two or three of them um there is a limit on certain things on to um a, uh, on to shop miss a so definitely just keep an eye out for that and then this is the E one 
one three brush this was a very good brush for applying your 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 eyeshadow this was very good so you can always pat when you apply your eye your eyeshadow you can pat you know you don't have to you know do the the windshield wiper motion but it's totally up to you you can do the windshield wiper motion whatever is convenient comfortable for you you do you okay do you ladies and guys okay do you um this was a very good brush this was also a dollar and then the highlighter brush wow very very good and they also have like this size brush but the bristles is a little bit bigger and that is a setting brush i have about two or three of them and I have about two or three of these but i try to keep a lot of these highlighter brushes a very very good thing to have and use you know like i said if you're a makeup artist or pro or you just got out of cosmetic school you know these brushes are very always good to have you know that way you can have more makeup brushes but i love those brushes very very good thing and then the, um this is the perfect setting powder i love this powder it as you can uh, see it went on very good i have no problems it it didn't flake but maybe it um did just a tiny bit as i applied it because you know how some setting powders you know when you apply to your wherever you apply your concealer at some will uh you will have fallout just a tiny bit but not too much but i do liked this um setting powder so nine out of ten so very very good i have no complaints no um concerns so far and now with the um amuse cosmetics two in one blush and bronzer i liked it but i didn't get as much blush as i wanted to let me just check and make sure yeah i didn't get that much blush but maybe if i try to use it again in another tutorial you know i maybe it'll come out a lot better and yeah this was okay so this was a seven to me so and then this is the um uh, I want to say the uh, the Muse Cosmetics Two in One Blush Bronzer. So this is like a lighter blush right here. It's like a peach type of color, and then the bronzer is like a lighter brown. You know, so this is good for all skin tones. So this is a very good one to use. So you definitely try uh, put it into your cart and see for yourself. And you know, the mirror is my number one one jam. Yes, I do love the mirror super cute and adorable i love it you know i love pink i'm a pink girl i love pink um but yes this yeah you definitely got to get about two or three uh two or three of these mirrors handheld it's a dollar 55 and then they also have a small black one that says aoa studios that is a dollar so that's smaller than this but i like this one too and i like the smaller one too the smaller one you can use when you apply like your like when you apply the the fake uh, eyelashes you know to finish your look you know yes i definitely highly recommend that in this mirror is you can apply your foundation concealer as you can see your highlighter your lip gloss you know cute for a dollar 55 and remember anything that you do to uh when you donate to charity edition from shop miss a with the animal or children education that's what your chain the uh does go to and um three other things the lip gloss i do like it. it gives you like a natural type of finish it don't give you like a full glossy glossy shine shine uh effect that you want to have but you can apply like a clear lip gloss from your beauty supply store that you bought or you can use a high-end you know lip gloss totally up to you but i would just use my go to go to go to broadway ultra um ultra beauty not ultra beauty um broadway coconut oil lip gloss that is two dollars a few dollars at my local beauty supply store i have them in all kinds of colors the i have the cocoa i have the mango i have the mint green and i have think another one or something like that so i have like quite a few of those i have more than six so yeah the lip gloss was a seven so and this is the highlighter the glow baby for just a dollar 55 i mean for a dollar and this was in goddess in zero three five nine this was a five 
Um, I didn't put that much on my nose, but it was okay. And I really liked how the uh, the liquid foundation, uh, the highlighter came out on my skin because it didn't leak all over. So that's one thing I do I liked about that. But this was okay. This was this is a very cute little you know item to have. You know you can put into your purse. You know if you want to you know shine up a little bit more you know and you missed a smile or something when you was at home trying to apply your makeup so yes this was definitely a good thing i do like that it's a cute little container for just a dollar you know so not bad not bad at all so last thing wow 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 wow, wow. look at my lashes like wow it does give you that volume but if you want to apply to get it more voluminous, you can apply probably about two more times. First time, yes. Second time, you probably gotta do it about two or three more times to get that voluminous that you want to your eyebrows. If you're not a lot a eyelash type of girl like me, I am, but not much. So yeah, you definitely want to get this. This was hands down a good product that I liked. I liked the light. I only used it one time. Loved it though. For a dollar in black, and then I love the wand of it of course black and red and you know something different that's in my makeup collection and then the palette from uh the six eyeshadow palette color color scheme very very good i loved it love 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 hands down this is like a, a 10 not a 9 a 10 as you can see very very good it looks so good i applied my make my eyeshadow very very well wow <laughs> love this love 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 so and then last thing for sure this last thing this is the jelly jam strawberry lip mask i love this i use this all the time before i go to bed and after i get out the shower and after i do my skin routine i have no makeup on by the day because i work so um i don't really wear makeup at work because you know i'm at a grocery store so um yes yeah, so i only wear it when hamilton and i do go out when we do have our day dates i do wear my makeup you know but this lip mask is a very good thing to do it does it definitely will give your lips like that smooth texture that you want it'll get rid of any um crust that you have any dryness of your lips so i highly recommend that you get this and all the colors that they have onto the website put that in your cart and i believe it's like a between like a a dollar or a dollar fifty five but i believe it's between a dollar and a dollar fifty five i'm really not for sure i should have looked onto the website before i'm at the end of this video but you can definitely check it out do your own research get your own facts make sure that you get this make sure that this is what you want be well, before you apply it to your cart so yes everything that i talked about is a must have put it in your cart do what you have to do love 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 Everything that I have and that I bought in my cart and from Shop Miss A. So definitely, I hope you all enjoyed your Sunday. Hope you had a blessed day. Be blessed and grateful that you woke up this morning to see your, your hubby, your children. You know, you woke up six feet above, you know, to see your loved ones, your family members, your family-in-laws, your best friends, you know. And God bless you all. Please be safe out there and have a truly, truly blessed Sunday. On June 5th, 2022. May you all have a blessed week at work. Or a blessed week period. And children have a blessed week in school. Okay. Listen to your teachers and assistant teachers. And if you're still homeschooling. Listen to your homeschool teacher as well. Okay. God bless you. And obey your parents. And listen to your parents. Okay. So God bless you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.